here at Mission Bay. We just launched from Dana Landing. The name of the game today is Species. And the Species Challenge basically is anything in the uh, local salt water. So it can be offshore, uh, here at the bays, whatever it is. And each species counts for only one point. So if you go offshore and catch a tuna, one point. If you catch a mackerel, one point. Lizard fish, one point. You know, any of the small fish. So. And it's about time. It's about time those bait fish get their due. I mean, how often is a mackerel worth the same amount of points as a Dorado or a bluefin? Only in the species challenge, I guess. So it's all about volume numbers. Live bait is the key here too. It's not just uh, lures, although I'm mostly gonna fish lures, but you can fish bait, live bait, cut bait, whatever it is, just as many as you can get. Check it out guys, got a kelp patty. Oh, I don't see any yellow tail. Imagine that. Finding a kelp patty in the bay, old and dorado and yellow fin. That'd be awesome. 10 o'clock, I haven't caught a damn thing yet. Might have to go further into the kelp, see if I can get something. Fish little rock areas over here. It was nothing, man. I have faith. We'll get on something. <laughs> Finally got a calico. <laughs> no freaking time. <laughs> Struggling today. Go to the wet because I've been trying the bait. What did I go to? You guys know, slow pitch. I'm like, I just gotta go back to it. I'm not catching anything on the bait, on the lures. So good to get that fish. So I was talking about it on my other show, my live show, how sometimes when those days are rough, man, it's like, I've literally been out here hours and hours and hours. Some of these other guys killing it, but. You know, I just kind of got away from my confidence stuff with trying different things and of course the second I go back, I start catching. Damn, I've got something beastly here. Guess I just had to go back to the slow pitch. It's gotta be a sand bass. <laughs> Holy smokes! Gosh damn! Holy crap! These things work, man. Doing the turd roll. much bait here you guys can see it but got the sabiki working shallow here trying to get these mackerel to bite there we go got one they're still with it come on boys eat it get a little faster get them excited they straight passed it up man that was crazy had one on, should have pulled it. This guy going ham and Swiss, man. Got another one. I know there's a sea line behind me somewhere. Could be another sand bass. Little baby one. Child's bass. Still probably illegal, but if this guy lives. Beast. Might be my PB. World record fish. Is there another good one? 
It's only sand bass. Not at the bait barge or anything, just out in the off Mission Bay South. But I know how sand bass bites. Oh, <laughs> big old calico. Holy smokes. Gosh dang. Oh man, son of a bitch. I thought this was 100% of sand bass. This has to be a sand bass. No, oh, another huge calico. Look at these. Look at this thing. Looks like my jigs work. That's for damn sure. And all in the same spot. I've been just going through the same area. Got these two monster calicos. Hitting it at the bottom too, which is why you know I'm thinking they're sand bass. I'll take oh, my pants. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, that's trying to get me in the face with it. This guy was actually bigger than the last one. I don't think it's as fat, but right back in. let him slide for defecating. The other thing about kayak fishing on the drift is that towards the end of the day when I'm ready to go home, I never realized, no matter how many times I've done it, like, how far I actually get out and how far I am from the, from my launch. You know, normally you just, you drift and you fish and you drift, you just go with the drift and then you're miles and miles and miles from where you were. And in my mind, I'm always like, oh, I'm not that far. And when I start making my way back and paddling, I look at the GPS and the map, I'm like, oh no. I still have a long ways to go. Fishing wildlife or fishing game. Everything was good. We played by the books, uh, but they asked for license. They asked how many fish. They wanted to see my fish, and they checked my bag that had the fish in it. Um, it all checked out. Everything was good. Mark and Cal passed. Cal actually didn't have his fishing license on him, but luckily he had a digital, you know, his phone. He was able to pull up the receipt. It was like the one time he didn't bring it, you know. Um, that's why you don't break any laws, guys, because. That is a fat ticket. You've got a fish that's just half an inch underneath that it should be. You're gonna pay a fat fine, so. Just everything we had was legal, everything was good. And good stuff. Besides that little event at the end of the day, still a good day. Not a ton of fish, um, quality fish, good fish. 
got huge sand bass, um, huge calicos, two species I didn't have, and then I got some rockfish too. I think that weren't on my species list. Like I said, I think I had four or five before. I'll have to go back and review, but then this go around I had, I think four more fish I didn't have, so stacking them up, got my little, got my coat on there, gonna submit the pictures later in the Discord, and we're creeping up. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna win it by any means. There's a lot of people out there catching a lot of stuff, but it's a good challenge for me, you know, to catch fish that I don't normally catch or try different techniques. Um, like I said, I was trying plastics and like some drop shot baited stuff. It just, the bait was not money today. It definitely was not. All these guys were catching them on artificials, you know, slow pitch and Tiomi jigs and stuff like that. So I don't think anybody caught anything on the plastics or cut bait. So it is what it is, but it's still a good day. Another beautiful day fishing. Awesome day, weather was perfect, so can't ask for more than that. All right guys, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.